The sixth graders of St. Louis School, located in Custer, Ohio, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of this edition of News 6. Welcome to this week's edition of News 6. Today's program is brought to you by the 6th grade class of St. Louis School. Our school is part of the community of Custer in Wood County. Founded in 1865, it has a population of about 200 people. Let's find out what issue is most on the mind of our 6th graders. Today's kid view question is who is your hero and why? My hero is St. Peter because he has the keys of heaven. My hero is Jamal Lewis because he is a great running back. My hero is my brother Matt because he taught me how to play football. My hero is President Bush because of the good choices he's made. My heroes are the policemen because they protect our community. Welcome to St. Louis School. This is our art. It was bought by the PTA and it cost around $2,000. Welcome to the 5th and 6th grade classroom. This is our chain. It represents how many books we've read. This is the multi-purpose room. We use this room for lunch, band, PTAA meetings, and extended dining. On bad weather days, we use this as a gym. This is the St. Louis Church. The building of the church was started in 1889 and finished in 1891. We go to Mass every Friday. Thanks for visiting our school. In Ohio, our farms are well known for vast fields of corn and soybeans. These operations also sport plenty of animals like horses, sheep, and cows. Kaylin Kale reports on a farm that's slightly different from others in the Buckeye State. Hi, I'm Kaylin Kale, and there's a little bit of Texas right here in Northwest Ohio. Come boys! Feed me! That's because Texas Longhorn cattle are raised here on Longhorn Acres near Rudolph. My dad, Doug Kale, is the owner. We raise Longhorns here in Ohio because they're all around versatile animal, that they can stand the weather of the extremes of the cold and heat. They're called Longhorns because they have some of the longest horns in the cattle industry. The chores for longhorns are feeding hay, grain, and watering, and straw for their bedding in the barn. For people that have heart conditions or health problems, the longhorn meat is ideal for their diet. The longhorns are also used for breeding purposes. We use bulls here at the farm to breed, and we also use an AI system. Artificial insemination is what we call AI. We don't actually have to take the bull. We can take uh, semen from that bull and deposit it into the cow. That way we don't have to buy that bull. The cattle raised at Longhorn Acres are taken to competitions throughout the U.S. This is... We enter contests with our Longhorns in a three to four state region here at the farm. Our cattle qualify for a national region. The Longhorns are a teaching tool to show how you can convert grain into meat for another source of income for the farm and also to take to fairs and other shows to show your livestock how, how good quality you have. This is Kaylin Kale reporting for News 6.
Hi, I'm Shannon Giesegui with this week's News 6 Review. I'm looking at the book A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingle. Meg Murray's father mysteriously disappears and is taken to another planet. Meg's brother Charles meets three ladies, Miss What's It, Miss Who, and Miss Which. All of them then travel to the planet, fight a black thing, and attempt a rescue of the father. You need to read the book to find out if it's successful. There's plenty of mystery, excitement, and adventure. We've all heard the expression, everybody needs a hobby. Some folks are collectors and others build or create. Heather Hancock reports upon a man whose pastime is always up in the air. Hello, I'm Heather Hancock. One man's pastime will let him soar with eagles. That man is Tim Hancock, my dad. He builds experimental aircraft. Model airplanes is what got me into this. Uh, I met a guy who built and flew model airplanes, and next thing I knew I was doing it. That led me into building full-size ones that I can ride in myself. This particular plane took me about a year and a half to build, and uh, I worked on it uh, quite often. And this airplane is mainly built out of wood, so you need basic woodworking tools. The airplane that I'm building now is built out of wood, uh, steel, aluminum, and fiberglass, and it requires a few more tools. I'm presently building a one design, which is an aerobatic airplane for doing competition aerobatics, and uh, I've got about two years left uh, in building that. You need a big space to work on airplanes. This particular airplane was built two-car garage and was built out of wood mainly and covered with fabric and then paint. And the airplane I'm building presently was built here in this shop. You have to be thoroughly trained to fly. The uh, airplane I'm building presently will be a licensed airplane so you need a private pilot's license. The satisfaction I get from building airplanes is knowing that I built each part by myself and flying it in the end, of course. This is Heather Hancock reporting for News 6. That's all for this edition of News 6. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for more news around Northwest Ohio. The sixth graders of St. Louis School, located in Custer, Ohio, wish to thank the friends of this broadcast for their generous local support of this edition of News 6.